Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 59757, Class Bravo, Year 2018, State, Nebraska, Observed. I was northeast of Macy, Nebraska, along the Missouri River, taking part in an expedition hosted by members of the Omaha Indian Tribe. We were on the Omaha Reservation. These tribal members say they've had many sightings in the hilly bluff zone extending for miles along the west flank of the Missouri River Basin. Five of us had decided to take a day hike to see a possible X structure. As we started up the path, it became known that to get to the X would have to veer off the main path and bushwhack through the weeds. Two people did this while three of us decided to stay on the clearer but muddy path. I still have never seen this X, but pictures are available. As we headed up the trail, one of my Native American companions said he was hearing movement in the woods to our right. At this point, we could not see very far off. The path as trees and brush blocked the view. I did not hear the movement. We continued forward and came to an area where trees had been cut down in the past. We could not see maybe 40 to 50 yards back into the forest. Two of us looked to our right as soon as we made it to this clear area and immediately saw movement. I saw a long light brown object that was swinging downward from a horizontal position. It was not indicative of any other animal that I can think of and was bent slightly at an apparent elbow. I could not see a hand because of the brush. At the time of the sighting, the other witness started telling us what he just saw. He said, I just saw one and described seeing the whole upper body of a light brown Sasquatch. Apparently, when it noticed us, it started to drop down and move to its right our left behind cover. He said as it was ducking down, the arm had swung way up in the air and back down, and he demonstrated. His description and demonstration exactly matched what I had seen. He did not know that I had also seen it as he was telling me his story. I took a picture of the area where the sighting happened. This subject was behind and to the right of a stick pointing upward. On July 27, 2018, I revisited the location with BFRO investigator T. Bell and hacked my way back into this spot. We determined that the top of the stick is about 11 feet high, making the top of the swinging arm at around 9 feet tall. On the day of the sighting, I was not prepared to bushwhack back into the site where the subject was seen. I was better prepared when we returned on July 27th. I have already done an interview with the BFRO investigator just after our recreation attempt. This subject was much larger than me. It could very easily be 10 plus feet as it was already ducking away when I saw it. Also noticed, I had audio recorders set up in the area and recorded possible vocalizations the following morning at around 5 a.m. Other witnesses, two witnesses saw the creature, three people were present. Other stories, there are many encounters in this general area, including a long-distance daytime sighting just yesterday, July 28th. The proud native people of this area seemingly tend to keep their stories within their own community. I am very blessed to have been able to hear the details of many of these encounters. Time and conditions, 1.30 p.m. on a clear and very hot sunny day. Temperature was above 90 degrees at the time. Environment. This is a heavily forested area bordering the Missouri River. Lots of hills, ravines, and trees. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator T.K. Bell. In addition to the report, this individual is involved in the research of Sasquatch and uses his own audio equipment to gather audio evidence. 
Further details, it was hard to tell the length of the arm, especially with the movement of it swinging down. There was no odd smell. Other than the initial movement, no other sounds were made when it was leaving the area. The area is heavily wooded with trees and brush and is along the Missouri River, which separates the Iowa and Nebraska state lines. There are many ravines, farms, and prairie areas, plus an abundance of wildlife. Deer, rabbits, squirrels, birds, and fish in the river. I find the witness to be credible. He has attended many BFRO expeditions and has for several years been doing audio placement to get audio evidence for the research of Sasquatch. Matt Moneymaker's Notes this is the type of area in the Midwest where Sasquatches will find refuge in the winter and early spring. In those seasons, they will seek dense brush cover, ideally the gullies of hilly terrain. Dense brushy zones in the gullies of hill terrain is the best natural protection from freezing winds unless you're inside a cave or burrow, etc. In late spring through early fall, there is enough cover in the form of growing corn for Sasquatches to venture far out from their winter strongholds. They can stay out there among cornfields and not return at night to a naturally brushy zone, but the Omaha Indians in contact with the BFRO say they have encounters almost year-round in some part of the bluffs overlooking the Missouri River Basin. So this one and its family may be sticking around most of the time because of the abundance of deer within nightly walking distance of the hilly bluff zone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.